In this short video, I will show you how to make your table stand out with conditional formatting and data bars. Interested? Stay with me! Hello guys, my name is Michał Bicki from Data Maniacs. It's quite common that when you work with Power BI, instead of using some of the cool visualizations like bar chart or donut chart, you want to show some values in the table. How to make tables look better and provide more information to the end users. For that, I commonly use data bars. So in this video, I will show you how to use data bars and a simple trick that makes them even better. On my screen you can see a simple table that I created. We got sources and views per source. So this views is referring to a measure that I created. This is a plain sum of page views from my table. Alright, so how can I make it look better? I'm not sure if you know guys the feature which is called conditional formatting. So if I click on this table, I can right click on the measure that I added and I got a couple of options. I got conditional formatting and we got data bars that I use most commonly with tables so that I can even provide more visual context for the end user. Let's click that and check it out. So by default, Power BI creates a data bar from the lowest value to the highest value uh, and we got option to show bar only. So let's firstly create a simple bar. I will set the minimum to zero so that my axis is fixed on zero point and the maximum will be a standard, the highest value. Let's press OK and check it out. All right, so we got the values and behind that we got data bar. However, I don't like this solution because due to the coloring of data bar, the number is not so readable. So what can we do? We can actually use the different conditional formatting. I will go again to data bars and I modify that. So I will press show bar only. Let's check it out. All right, so the numbers disappeared and data bars are easy to read, but still we don't know what are the values. So what we can do? Let's try and drag again our measure to our values. I drag and drop and we can see that actually we don't see numbers, but we see the data bar only. All right, so maybe let's rename one of those. Maybe Power BI has some problem with the naming. So the first one will be views. I will change it to number. And the second one will Oh, what's happening? So it renamed both of these. So actually when you drag the same measure a couple of times to a table, unfortunately we have no power here to change its name for the only one field. It changes all the fields when the same measure has been dragged. So what can we do? The trick that I use quite commonly is I right click, press new measure, I'll call it views copy and on the right side I basically assigned the value of our existing measure. Let's try that. Alright, so I get rid of one of those fields and drag our new one. And bam, we can see that we got the correct value. So now I can rename those as I want. I will call the first one views and the second one graph. And having it done this way, it's super easy for end user to check out what's the value and how it compares to other values. Just with a brief looking at our table. All right, guys, thanks for attention. In the next video, I will show you how to change this name to disappear because if I want it to be empty, I use spacebar, it doesn't work. Power BI requires here to have some value. 
So in the next video, I will show you how to change the header name for this column of our table so we don't see anything here, just as I did on other repo that I recently worked on, which is shown here. Interested? Check out the next video, which is supposed to be here or maybe here. I'm never sure which site it is. And thanks for attention. And if you are interested in more tricks in Power BI, subscribe this channel. Thank you guys and see ya in the next videos.